eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. What's up, guys? Currently September 8th, 12 28 p.m., and I just got done with all my classes about 30 minutes ago. And what I did was I went ahead and got my mail for the day from the post office on my college, and I figured why not show you guys what I got. So, hold on. So guys, I got two packages. Okay, so the, for the first one, let me go ahead and show you. Put the camera a little more closer. So the first one were these straps for the gym. They're by MetaRx. They're only like like 12 bucks, I think. So let me show you what, uh, what they are exactly. I'm sure all of you are familiar with lifting straps. So guys, I really needed these because I'm starting to row, like dumbbell row, a pretty heavy weight, anywhere from like 90, 95 pounds for maybe like set uh, reps of ranges around 8 to 12. So my grip can't really handle that. And um, I'm only like 155, 50 pounds, guys, so I can't really handle the grip on like 90, 95 pound dumbbells. Well, around like eight reps, I start to give out, but I know my lats can uh, physically push more weight. And especially, I also got these mainly for uh, barbell rows because I'll usually put like two and a half, three plates on that and rep that out. And there's my grip just completely slips, so it gets so annoying. I needed these, so let me show you these. By Met RX, by the way, they're like the cheapest things on Google. Um, still real good though. I heard pretty good reviews on them. Here they are. This is one of them. So what it is, you just put it around your wrist like that, wrap it around, and there's the wrap, the strap. I think uh, I went for an extra like five bucks for these. Uh, usually you can get straps for like six, seven bucks, but they don't have the ones where it wraps around your uh, your wrist. They're kind of just like more old school, like just a rag type thing. And I figured why not put in the extra few bucks for something a little more comfortable because I will be using these a lot, right? If you're gonna be using something a lot, why not put in the extra money to get something you know better out of it? So. so now the next thing I just got, which I'm extremely excited about, is the Sickening Blue Team Beyond the Week tank. <laughs> I love saying that, but um, let me go ahead and show you guys what this is. So if you guys aren't familiar about my boy Brian Turner's uh, YouTube channel, Humorous Fitness, you guys got to go check it out. I'm sure you've heard of it if, you watch, if you're in the YouTube uh, fitness community. But just in case, I'm going to go ahead and uh, link his YouTube channel in the description down below. So be sure to check him out, guys. This guy, seriously, is such an inspiration. Not only on YouTube, but his whole fitness lifestyle. He's been doing this for years. Just every day, putting in the work. And you can obviously see he's gotten a lot of results out of it. And it's just crazy to just... I look up to him as a YouTuber because this guy seriously uploads every single day and they're not just regular uploads. This guy will put in hours of work into his editing and he'll make sure the videos are top quality and they're also extremely entertaining. I'm talking about every single video he puts up guys. Seriously, yeah, every single day too. And not only that, my favorite thing about him is he's so interactive with his YouTubers or with his, um, he's so interactive with his um, fans and subscribers and just viewers in general if you like if you leave a comment down in his channel I guarantee you he's going to respond to that whatever video you, you put that comment in just because he just loves talking like he just loves um, giving like he loves hearing the feedback with his viewers and he just loves responding to it which is awesome you know so here it is been hearing a lot of good things about this especially guys about the quality and I can definitely agree on it. I got the medium, by the way. This is how it looks like, team beyond the week. And let me tell you guys, the quality is amazing. Like, the feel to it, very, very soft. Pretty, like, elastic, but I love the design. Look at that. Beyond the week, everywhere. And then BTW. Love the blue one. I might even get myself a second one, the black one, because I really could not choose between the black and the blue one but decided to go with the blue one because it's sickening. And then he also threw in a Beyond the Week wristband. That is awesome. I'm going to rock that right now. Cannot wait to rock that tank. Brian, seriously, thank you so much, man. What I also loved about this is it, it, I ordered this like right before the weekend, and it came like a day or two after the weekend. So if I would have ordered it on like a Monday, it would only took like a day or two to come. So that's awesome. Real quick. doesn't take like a week. So thank you so much, Brian. Like I said, guys, go check him out. If, you haven't, if you're watching my channel and you haven't seen Brian's channel, it's going to be down below in the description box. Go check him out. He has like 
15 or like 13 14,000 subscribers and let me tell you he's earned every single one of those that dude puts in so much hard work into his videos anyway again I'll go ahead and rock this stuff out hitting a leg day today okay um my gym opens up at 1 o'clock p.m. because they have like renovation around 12 to 1 staff stuff so gonna pretty much grab something to eat pre-workout like I said I don't usually mind having a semi big meal 30 minutes before my workout especially if it's a leg day I'm gonna really need that. By the way, update on my leg. Doing a lot better, guys. Um, my weights now. I can finally start adding progressive overload on my on things like my squat and my deadlift. You know, my compound lifts, and I'm real happy about that because, as you guys knew, I had an injury before, but doing a lot better. So, gonna go ahead and grab some meat, and I'll catch you guys later. Boom! Rocking the Team Beyond the Week shirt, Brian. By the way, the quality of the shirt is seriously on point great job on the quality feels awesome it's just so soft I've never really had tanks feel like that on me before and medium is perfect by the way guys I'm 5'7 150 pounds if you're gonna go ahead and uh, buy one of these um, and you're around same height and weight as I am this medium is literally perfect on me so pre-workout meal pre-leg workout meal got some Dan Dannon Light and Fit Greek Yogurt, vanilla. And what I did was actually just throw it in these chocolate uh, protein oats, as you guys have seen plenty of times in my other videos. It was pretty much like my go-to pre-workout meal or something, just because it's so quick. It takes so fast uh, to make. You just throw in, I usually throw in 120 grams of oats, put like around like 18, 20 ounces of water, throw in the microwave for like five minutes, and bam, it's out, put in the whey protein, and you're good. And, and then I'll put in some Splenda and salt. And what I did, I just put in like one-fourth of a cup of this yogurt, because that's all that there was left, which now goes to the trash. So going to go ahead and eat this up, guys, and I'll catch you later. Like I said, I have a lower body power day today, so really need this energy. Sup, guys, just got back from the gym, had a lower body power day. Went great, set a lot of PRs, and I'm about to make a post workout meal. You guys are going to be real impressed by this. This is something you'll find at a five star restaurant. You might as well call me Bobby Flay after this, alright? First, let's put this in the microwave for 90 seconds. You guys are going to be real impressed by this. Second step, slice deli meat. Last and final step, salsa. How could I forget Frank's Red Hot? And here's the five star meal I was talking about. Matt, would you pay $30 for a meal like this? I'll pay 50 bucks for that right now. <laughs> I'm starving. See, there you have it. Five star meal. Alright, gonna enjoy this and I'll catch you guys later. What's up guys, so I just got back from a meeting that was pretty much mandatory for all nutrition majors and as you guys know, my selected major for now is nutrition dietetics. So I'm doing nutrition dietetics because obviously I have a big, a huge passion for fitness and nutrition. I mean obviously I have a YouTube channel, I have like Instagram for it and everything. So that's like my passion and I can't wait to pretty much see uh, what's in store for the future for me with with the whole fitness and health and fitness lifestyle but uh, so I gotta get something off my chest I'm gonna rant about warning I'm rather, I'm going to rant about something so went to this meeting uh, I was expecting something quick probably like 15 minutes it ended up being like an hour so I go to this meeting and they just have like food laid out obviously for for all the guests, you know, all the students, and they had like, of course, like vegetables, celery, carrots, and like brownies and cookies that are organic, gluten free, uh, vegan friendly, and all this stuff. And they pretty much talk about these foods, about how they're healthy and how you should always eat organic and vegan. And little do they know, I bet you those cookies and brownies, those organic and vegan healthy brownies have more fat than 
regular brownies, regular cookies. And not only that, I honestly was expecting a lot of people like me, you know, that are like-minded like me. But I'm not going to lie, there was, I'm not making fun of anyone here, but there's, there's a good amount of overweight people. But I don't blame them, you know, they, they probably just want to better their lives. They want to learn more about nutrition and they really want to change their lives, you know. And that's awesome. I'm all for that. But, man, I got into an argument with the teacher because she was... Comp- okay, I don't know if this was a teacher or not. I think it might have been, like, a junior there that was in the in the major and was getting kind of um, high up there. I don't know. Something like that. That must have not been the teacher. I hope not because he probably didn't like me after that session. But So he was pretty much telling everyone how, like, this percentage of your plate should be carbs, and this percentage should be fat, this should percentage should be uh, protein, you know, that whole, like, pie chart or whatever, about how you should divide your plate with carbs and fats and proteins and anything, didn't even initiate that calories were a huge part of your diet, he pretty much just stated, like, anything other than fruits and veggies uh, aren't considered healthy, and you should be eating five fruits a day, five veggies a day, and... You know, it pissed me off because these people are being misguided. They're being misled. They just want to change their lives, yet they have to realize the big picture is if they want to be losing weight, it's all about their caloric intake versus their caloric um, expenditure. So, like, it's just all input and output, guys. It's like like a car, you know? (laughs) You're burning fuel more than you're getting the gas in. That's You're going to lose weight, so... They don't know. They don't realize that though. It's all about the macronutrient goals. It's all about manipulating carbs, fats, proteins, knowing how your body works. Okay, maybe my body is a little bit more carb sensitive. I'm on the higher fat range and higher protein range. You know, these people don't know that, and they're not being informed and educated about proper nutrition. And it's funny. They all say diet, 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 healthy diet, healthy diet. That's not what it's about. It's not about a healthy diet. It's about a healthy lifestyle. You don't live a healthy diet for the rest of your life. You can eat anything you want, you know? As long as, okay, you are getting two, three vegetables, two, three fruits a day. You're hitting your micronutrients. That's important. You have to, he also has to teach people, he teach, has to teach people about micronutrients as well as macronutrients because those are just as important to sustain the health of your body. But he just wasn't doing that at all, guys. Like, you, you all know, you can eat whatever you want. It's just you have to have an idea. You don't have to count macros, but you have to know how many calories you're getting in. What's that's like driving a car and ha- always having no idea how much gas is in it. That's pretty much what you're doing with your body when you don't at least have just a general idea of how much calories you're intaking. It's you don't even have to count. Okay, We're us fitness freaks love to do it, but. No, no, let's be real. No normal person is going to count their macros and know how many carbs and fats and proteins exactly they're getting in. And I'm not even doing that. You know, I'm kind of guesstimating. And that's what most people should do. And he doesn't even teach them that. He doesn't say have a balance of, you know, healthy foods like fruits, you know, or uh, natural foods like fruits and vegetables. And then really just concentrate on knowing how many calories you should intake for the day and how much exercise you should be getting in a day. He just pretty much went off with the food pyramid and the pie chart and the 45 to 60 minutes a day and cardio this, cardio that. So I had to stand up there and kind of inform the class about what's really going on and hey man, like I think you're explaining this wrong. You probably shouldn't be telling people that. You're really misguiding them, misleading them to a different and very wrong route, you know, not only physically and mentally in the mindset, because these people are going to be staring at their plate and being like, oh man, this this is white rice, it's not brown rice, or oh my god, this is meatloaf and not chicken, you know, when in reality, it doesn't matter, they can have, they can eat that, as long as they know their caloric intake goals, and have a general idea of macronutrient guidelines, so I had to step in and talk about that, and let's just say he didn't look too happy because I might have taught him a few things, you know, maybe one or two things. But I really hope my teacher isn't going to be like that because I'm not even in the nutrition dietetics class yet. I'm doing that next semester because it was booked for this semester. I'm just in the gen ed classes f- 
for the credits leading towards that major because I, I am still in the major you know I'm taking like the sciences chemistry and all that so I hope my teachers not like that or we're gonna get off on the wrong foot I mean hey maybe I can teach the class right but anyways that's pretty much gonna end the series or end the episode of this uh, DNA series I really hope you guys enjoyed it please don't forget to smash that like button, the thumbs button, and as always, just subscribe to my channel if you enjoy the content, and share the video, and comment below on anything, and really tell me what you think about this, alright? Maybe I was just being a little too much, but I really wanted to help these people out, because there was a good amount, like I said, I'm not being you know, surprised, there's a good amount of overweight people, and I want them to reach their goals and lose that weight, and really be informed. But long story short, guys. Do your research, okay? Not just the general research, how to be healthy or something on Google. Really dig in, do that research. That's what I did, and it changed my life. It, going, Being healthy doesn't just mean going to the gym and exercising and then trying to eat healthy. It's doing that research and really learning about the body, okay? Well, that's going to wrap it up, guys. Like I said, like, comment, share, subscribe. You already know. And as always... Which arms are gonna be? Stay strong. Part two, young to fall. This is